So we are talking pendulums and I wanted to give you some basics so you find it so much easier to just go ahead and use a pendulum. First of all, what is a pendulum? Well, this is one that's made specifically to use as a pendulum. But if you don't have that and you can't go run to a metaphysical store, you can also use a pendant, something that hangs with a bit of weight on a chain. It could even be a rope. I find that metal works great because it's a good conductor of energy, but it can be anything that, that can freely swing. So, you know, if you happen to wear one, you'll always have one with you if you need it. Okay, so for now, a pendulum, the purpose of using one is to ask binary questions. So yeses or nos, or even maybes. And the purpose of that is it's a lot like muscle testing, or I like to refer to it as energy testing. When you want to know the answer to something, but you almost don't trust your own judgment on it because you know, you're, you're biased or you're too close to you know, the result, okay? So for um, pendulums, there's a few basic things. The first thing is to, for one, to be well hydrated. Because when you're well hydrated, that means the energy can flow through you as the conduit of the energy to the device. So if you're trying to use a pendulum and it's not really working, it's not that it doesn't work for you, it just might not work for now. So go get hydrated, have some water, uh, and try it another time. Um, I've been using a pendulum for years now, and there's still some times where it doesn't work for me in that moment. And you, know, you just have to go with the universal message that that's not gonna work for you today, or reframe the question, or just clear your energy. Because a lot of it has to do with that. Energy is always in motion, so you have to learn to ground and release and find another way or come back to it later. So another thing with pendulums is to establish your yes and your no direction. Um, mine is typically the same, but I always ask before doing a series of pendulum questions. And the purpose of that is sometimes my yes and no might be different for that particular time. And once in a while that happens. Another reason, it's a way to test if this method is going to work. So knowing that up front works great. And the simplest way is to just ask, please show me yes, please show me no. Um, but before we even get there, I typically hold it between my thumb and my index finger. I usually wrap it once or twice around my index finger and pinch it closed like that. Some people place their hand underneath to ask the questions, I tend to just hold it. And it's easiest if you were to glue your hand, your elbow by your side, that way, and have your wrist in alignment with your forearm, you know, if you're like this, the energy is gonna be in, a bit impeded. But you also wanna be comfortable. But I find when I hold it like this, and I'm one straight line, the energy flows easier. And I'm not influencing it influencing the pendulum by the movement of my arm if I was just to have my my arm free. It's, it's amazing how much we can move around without trying to. So what I do is I have my elbow glued to my side so I have some um, you know some balance there and, and then I will just make sure it's still, hold it still, and then I'll ask Please show me yes. And this is interesting because usually a yes for me is clockwise. And right now it's going back and forth. Um, sometimes holding it down more too. This is, I guess, what I normally do. I'm trying to stay in the screenshot. So let me hold it down more. Please show me yes. And if you're new to this, you might only have slight movements. Please show me yes. There we go. So it's going a little bit counterclockwise. So I say thank you and I stop it. 
please show me no. I'm leaning forward for some reason. Please show me no. And for me, no is forward and backwards. Thank you. Please show me maybe. And maybe is side to side. I don't always use maybe, but you know, for sh just to show you in case that's something you want to use. If you're new to this, like anything, you're learn learning to ride a bike, your muscles get tense because you're trying so hard. So just try and be loose, okay? So that's how you want to practice to just see where your yes and no is. But just try and be fluid with it. So for me, I do it quite a bit that I'll just go, please show me yes. Thank you. Please show me no. And it instantly stops when I say thank you, and then it begins to swing my no. But if you're, you know, being skeptical about it, which it's okay, it's, it's good to debunk things, you can totally stop it and then go from there, okay? So my yes is clockwise circle, and my no is back and forth, and I forgot to ask again what my maybe is. Please show me maybe. And it can take a few moments because just think of something that physics wise, it's naturally swinging. It might take a few moments or a few passes before it changes its direction. So be patient, okay? So mine did go back and forth. And now from here, you can just, you wanna ask questions that are yes or no, or binary questions, yes, no, ones and zeros, because you can't ask anything too elaborate because the pendulum is just going to give you those cut and dried answers okay and you could test it again and you could you could say something like is my name lucy and it's giving me a no am i wearing socks no so maybe try something you already know the answer to. Are my birds chirping? Yes. Do my birds chirp a lot while I'm trying to record videos? Yes. It's very slight. Um, often I get more movement than that. And if you're finding you're not getting a lot of movement, you could place your hand underneath it. And your energy, again, is coming from below. So you're giving it even more of a magnetic connection. Is my name Lorraine? And it's giving me yes. So see, it's responding a little more. So it's finding the little tricks when it's not quite working enough or it's not loud enough, as I like to say, and it's not really swinging. You can try these different ways. And another method too is to find out where north is, magnetic north, and face that direction because, because it's a magnetic direction that might give you a better, a better way of using the pendulum or making it work for you, okay? So those are the basics. From there, it's just posing questions so that there is a choice of yes, no, or maybe. And yes, we can influence the flow of a pendulum if we really, 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 really want something, okay? So when we just have to change um, what the question is. For example, um, do, you know, do I want a new deck of cards? And naturally, it's going to say yes. But if I maybe say, do I need this deck of cards? And just change how you word it so it's more neutral and it's less the emotional, energetic signature you're putting into the answer that you want. Okay, I hope that makes sense. Give it some practice and have fun with it. Start to just work with it and don't take it too seriously. Okay, it's not something to, you know, it's, it's something to just help you make decisions. It's not something that, you know, you can go take to, you know, the racetrack with you and <laughs> you know, um, gamble on, okay? So start practicing a little bit and use your intuition. Thanks for watching.